This next section is really taking you to a journey that I started in, when was it? Probably 1988. Um, when I first became more than just cognizant of what was going on in South Africa. It was the time I met my friend Lebo M, who at the time was a political refugee from South Africa. And he was uh, working in a car wash in Los Angeles, and he was doing a terrible job scratching up cars. But he was a great singer. And we were given the chance to do a movie called The Power of Love. And the music is very specifically thought of as South African. I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if I wrote very much in my German, in my German cultural style, took this music with Lever down to South Africa, gave it to a choir and see what would happen. And just said to them, here, go and play with it. Here, I've given you the notes, now go and interpret this. And that's really how Power of One came about. A few years later, and not even that long, um, Disney came to me and they said they had a movie called King of the Jungle, which was all going to be about lions in the jungle in South Africa. Until somebody pointed out there are actually no jungles, uh, no, no, no lions in the jungle in Africa. And it was going to be a cartoon, it was going to be songs, it was going to be that sort of thing. And I didn't really like cartoons and I didn't really like fairy tale princesses and things like that and I, I kept saying no and you know I, I don't write that sort of music and I said no we, we, we know that we want you to write what you write and I remembered then that I had a six-year-old daughter Zoe Zima who I had never been able to take to a premiere so far because most of the movies were far too violent um, and so this seemed like a perfect opportunity to do this, especially once they figured out that it should actually be called The Lion King. And The Lion King actually turned out to be a deeply moving story. My father died when I was six years old, and this is the story of a child surviving, figuring out how to cope with the idea of the father dying at a very early age. And so, something that should have just been a little bit of fluff actually turned out to me writing a requiem for my father. But luckily, we do have fart jokes in this